In the springtime is when plants grow and flowers bloom. First, you have to start with seeds. Here we have some seeds. Let's see what color they are and we'll plant them in the box. First seed is red. Red in Spanish is rojo. Rojo. Let's put that one there. Our next seed is green. Green in Spanish is verde. Let's say that one together. Verde. Let's plant this one right here. Our next seed is orange. Orange in Spanish is anaranjado. Anaranjado, that's a really long word. Let's try that one together one more time. Anaranjado, good job. Let's plant this one over here. Our next seed is blue. Do you know what blue is in Spanish? Blue is azul. Let's say that one together. Azul. This seed is yellow. Yellow in Spanish is amarillo. Let's try that together now. Amarillo. Good job. Plant that one there. And now our last seed is brown. Do you know what brown is in Spanish? It's café. Brown in Spanish is café. Let's plant this one right here. Do you know what we need now to make our garden grow and grow beautiful plants? It's water. But where does the water come from? There, it comes from the sky. Now we have some water. What else do we need? We need light and the sun. Once you have the sun, and beautiful birds start flying around, you'll see lots of fun creatures in your garden, like worms. Worms and bugs help oxygen get in your garden. And all of these things help your garden grow. This worm is green. Everybody say green. Good job. Do you remember what it is in Spanish? Where they right? I'm starting to see vegetables grow in our garden because we had light and water and oxygen. The next worm is yellow. Yellow in Spanish was amarillo. Lots of other fun creatures come in. This ladybug has one dot on its back. Let's count it together. One. Let's see if we're right. We are, it's the number one. Let's count the dots on this ladybug. One, two. Did we get it right? We did, it's a number two. And what about on this ladybug? Let's count. One, two, three. Yes, there are three dots on that bug's back. Let's see if we have other worms coming in now. This worm is green. Let's put that one over there. This worm is purple. Do you know how to say purple in Spanish? It's morado. Morado. It's working. There are more vegetables growing in our garden. Let's keep adding worms. This worm is yellow. Yellow in Spanish is amarillo. This worm is pink. Pink in Spanish is rosado. That's a new one. Let's say that one together. Rosado. This worm is blue. Blue in Spanish is azul. Here's another blue worm. Let's put him right there. And another pink one. Do you remember what pink is in Spanish? Rosado, right. And here's another purple worm. Let's put him back here. I'm starting to see the vegetables come in. They're growing. Now the birds come out to eat the worms. Why don't we count them? One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine worms. Wait, I think we missed one. Do you see it? Can you point at it and help me know where it is? The bird needs to find it to feed his family. Right. It's right there. Number 10. Why don't we count our vegetables that group? These are carrots. Let's count them as we pick them. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Eight carrots. Do you know how to count to eight in Spanish? Why don't we give it a try? One is uno. Two is dos. Three is tres. Four is cuatro. Five, cinco. Six, seis. Seven, siete. And eight is ocho. Why don't we do it all in Spanish now? Here we go. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, Cinco, seis, siete, ocho. There are eight carrots. There are lots of vegetables that can grow in a garden. Why don't we take a look at some and see where they fit in our garden? This is an apple. An apple is red. Red, rojo. Let's see where it fits. Does it fit in here? No. What about here? No, that looks like it's for a star. What about here? Yes, that's where the apple fits. Now, let's look at this kiwi. Kiwi is green. Green, verde. Hmm, let's see, will it fit here? No, it looks like a star was supposed to fit there. What about here? Yes, the kiwi fits there. Next, we have a strawberry. A strawberry is red, red, rojo. Let's try to fit it in our garden. No, mm. here? No, let's look, I know. It's going to fit here. Let's keep finding the fruits. It's a star fruit. Did you know there's a fruit that's in the shape of a star? This star fruit is green. Green, verde. Let's try here. No. Ah, here's a star shape. That's where it fits. You're doing great. What about this fruit? Do you know what that is? It's a pear. A pear is green. Green, verde. about here? No. <laughs> Whoops, our apple fell out. Let's put it back. What about one of these spots? Do you see where it will fit? Right, right here. And now for our pineapple. This pineapple is yellow. Do you remember what yellow is in Spanish? It's amarillo. Let's see. No. Right there. That's where our pineapple fits. Let's do one more. This is an orange. Do you remember how to say the color orange in Spanish? It's that long one. Anaranjado. And this shape is round. It goes right here. Great job. Now, if you want to buy this game and play along with me, 
just click on the link in the description below. And we'll have fun together!